morning guys so we just finished up with breakfast and uh, <laughs> I don't know what that was about but okay um, we took a walk down to the post office quick um, got soaked for the what two minute three minute walk that we were out there <laughs> anyway um, so finished up breakfast and we are gonna get packed up and, and ready to head out here um, we are headed to Fort William today, um, we're there for Outside two nights, Fort yeah. no, it's actually in, it's in Fort William, oh, is it? yep, it's in Fort William, um, so we are headed to the Garrison Hotel, um, I believe for two nights, yes, um, and then we, uh, have to get laundry done today, again, <laughs> Well, um, we checked into it. It's only a five-minute walk. Yeah, well, no, Ten it's a five-minute drive. Oh. Five-minute drive. It would have been a 30-minute walk if we were by foot, but... Uh, Three-hour walk. Fortunately, we've got uh, we've got the car now, so... Well, if it's a one-way, maybe we're walking. <laughs> yeah, I, I might have to agree with you there. Anyways, so we got to do laundry today. Um, we didn't get to go to the post office the other day. I mean, well, we went, but um, unfortunately, they didn't sell... Um, boxes. boxes large enough and unfortunately the hotel here didn't have any boxes that we could use either so we have to wait until we can get to a larger post office um, which there should be one in Fort Williams at least I'm hoping that there is so um, we gotta get um, get the necessities done and out of the way before we can start our exploring um, I'm kind of doubting with this weather that we'll be doing much of exploring of Fort Williams today. Um, it's mm. supposed to be raining and like hard raining most of the day, so. Yeah, the drizzle part, we don't mind. Yeah. yeah, drizzling, it wouldn't be such a bad thing, but it's it's pouring, Welcome so. <laughs> but so that's it for today. Um, gonna share some uh, pictures with you a little later for our drive on the way up to Fort William. We hear it's beautiful, beautiful scenery. Been told to make sure that we take it slow and take everything in on the way up there. Um, There's no taking anything slow in Scotland when you drive. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. Um, we will catch up with you again probably later this evening. Let you know how everything went. See you later for now.
Hey guys. So, um, today is actually April 7th, um, our 11th day here in Scotland. Um, we didn't follow up with you last night because we got a bit busy. So, um, on our way to Fort William, we decided that we were going to stop at Glencoe, um, and do our sightseeing there, um, prior to coming into Fort William because we had plenty of time. Uh, we did that um, and we, we kind of rearranged some things around so that we would have um, the ability to do something extra today. Um, so <clears throat> we obviously visited, visited Glencoe. Um, it was very humbling. Um, and uh, uh, we went to see the monument as well, which is on another one of those crazy back roads. Um, <laughs> but not anywhere near as, as, as long as the other ones were. So it was, it was manageable anyways. Um, so after uh, Glencoe, we finally arrived in Fort William. We found out where our hotel was and then made our way to the laundrette um, to get our laundry done. Um, Fortunately, while we were getting our laundry done, there happened to be a post office literally across the street, um, as well as a pharmacy. So we were able to go and pick up the, the few things that we needed and um, to get that package sent out, finally. <laughs> um, after that, um, after our laundry was done, uh, we made it back to the hotel. Uh, got checked in and uh, came up to our room and got our luggage completely sorted out um, So that way hopefully from this point on we literally only have to reach into our bags um, And grab what we what we need for the day and to leave the rest in the car um, so we hit We've got it. What's up? So we can hit the road. Uh, yeah, so we can basically hit the road and do what we need to do and not have to worry about lugging our luggage all over the place so, um, got that sorted out, and then, um, we skipped across the street. Got Chinese. Got some Chinese for dinner. Um, it was actually really good. It was a cute little takeaway restaurant. Well, it's a restaurant with a takeaway next to it, um, but they're the same restaurant. Um, and it was a cute yeah. little, cute little takeaway restaurant. So we did that, um, got dinner. Went to a movie. And then, yeah, he went to go get some drinks for us for dinner. Um, which there's a, a little, uh, grocery shop up the road, um, Not and up the road. It, was, it was a ways. <laughs> it was a ways, yeah. But, um, he went to go walk up there to get us some drinks and along the way noticed that there was a cinema. So, um, he stopped and checked it out and told me on his way back, hey, there's a, a cinema and a, um, museum. a museum, like right down the road from us, you know, we might want to go check it out. So after we got done eating, we went for a walk and decided to go see a movie in a Scottish theater. <laughs> it was pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Um, we went and saw Morbius. Yes, we went and yes. saw Morbius. It was actually quite a, quite, quite a good movie. But by the time we got back, we were just it pooped. Was, I was <laughs> we were pooped. So we decided that we would wait to do a video in the morning for you. Well, when we got up this morning, we were in a rush to get out the door because we were scheduled to be in Glenfinnan um, because we wanted to see the Harry Potter train come across the Glenfinnan Viaduct, um, also known as the Jacobite train. Um, we unfortunately were not able to get tickets um, by the time I had found out that we had to pre-book them or pre-order them. Um, it was already too late um, back home, obviously. Um, so we unfortunately didn't get to, to do the train ride, but we figured we could still go to the Glenfin and Viaduct and go and, and catch the catch the um, the train coming past, of course. and wonderful we we were able to get a video and we were able to take a bunch of pictures um and then after that we decided to go do something that i six months roughly six months to a year ago told him he was crazy for even wanting to attempt and that would never happen and um 
we decided to go hike up Ben Nevis, which mm -hmm. is the largest um, elevated or the the sorry the highest point of elevation in the Scotland. UK, yeah. not just or Scotland, UK, yeah. in the UK. Yeah, that was the stupidest so, thing ever. My uh, knee is hurt. But we're it was both. Fun. It was time. it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, but we're both sore and we're both tired. Um, we made it about halfway. Um, yeah. We we had just we had turned around just before the little um, turn to the another, lake. Another uh, there's 300 the, meters, we would have probably made, saw the lake. But. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, and we decided to turn down, which ended up being a blessing because it started snowing. Yeah, we walked down in a snowstorm. It was, and it wasn't just snow. It was like a sleet almost. It was like, it, it kind of stung when it hit you. Um, but we, <clears throat> we walked down in that. Um, it was a little slick, um, almost... Almost fell a couple of times, which then, wouldn't then have been it, good because we would gone right over the mountainside. <laughs> then it cleared up for a little bit. Yes. And then you could see the next wave coming in. Yeah. So it was it was a blessing we got out of there at the time that we did. Something just kind of told us that it was time to turn around and go back. And, yeah, that was my And life. we did. So <laughs> so we we turned around. We went mm. back and and but we had a blast. It was a yeah. lot of fun. And now I can say we hiked Ben Nevis. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. Um, I'd do it again. Oh, I would totally do it again, too. Maybe on a warmer day and maybe when yeah. it's not so nasty out. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, we made it halfway up to Ben Nevis. Um, it was it was a lot of fun. And we came back and ended up getting food from across the street at the Chinese restaurant again. because no, I finished mine. I finished yeah, well he, yesterday. Yeah, he finished what he had left from yesterday, and I went and ordered some more for myself because... We were both super hungry and tired and didn't want to have to go anywhere or cook anything and right across the street was perfect for us. So, oh, me. that's what we did. I, um, went, I went to a cute little store next door for uh, milkshakes. Yeah, And yeah. she was really nice. She was cleaning up and decided to make milkshakes for us. Anyway, even though she was closing up for the day, so I gave her a $2 tip. She was a really nice girl. Mm -hmm. Her daughter was sitting there watching TV. Didn't even act like she didn't even know I was there. Yeah. <laughs> so. But yeah, and I was next door this whole time while he was there getting the getting the food from the takeaway. So he was getting milkshakes and mm -hmm. and we made our way back up here. Oh, the other thing that I forgot to mention, um, I posted on Facebook last night, but um, we didn't get much sleep last night. Or at least uh, not a, a, a long sleep anyways, because we got woken up at 12.30 in the morning with the fire alarm going off. <laughs> yeah, I was about to smack her and tell her to turn her alarm off, because I didn't know what the hell was going on. It was quite interesting. Um, so we quickly we quickly put our, our shoes on and, and grabbed our coats, and I was in my, my jammies, and, which was just a dress, you know, one of those thicker dresses or whatever. I threw on some Or pants. 90s. And uh, he threw some pants on, and, and we booked it out the door as fast as we could because, you know, obviously we didn't know if there was an actual fire or not. Yeah, it turned out to be a false alarm. If I'd but have been it, smart, I would have grabbed my keys. Yeah, if we if we would have been smart, we would have grabbed the car keys and sat out in the car instead of outside. But it wasn't that bad. Um, the fire department is literally just down the road, um, less than two minutes away. So they got here within About relatively decent 15 time. Fifteen minutes, yeah. Fifteen and, twenty minutes. Yeah, and uh, turned out to be a false alarm. Um, gave us a little bit of a scare at first, but um, but yeah, it was it was kind of interesting get much sleep after that of course um but uh um yeah and breakfast this morning was fantastic uh, i had scottish pancakes he had the scottish pancakes i had the french toast sweet it was yeah, it was they're, they're sweet they you were don't sweet. need syrup you don't need any just chew on them yeah it was i put really syrup good. on them and i was like oh my god <laughs> this is so sweet i almost didn't eat mine they were so sweet yeah but that's kind of uh, what's been going on. We have a ton of pictures for you. And um, tomorrow we are headed to Isle of Sky. But we're um, taking a ferry. Yes. So we'll do a movie or, or do uh, pictures. pictures of that. I've never been on a ferry before. so I'm looking forward to it. Oh, I 
wish I had life insurance. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thanks. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so we will update you tomorrow, um, most likely after we arrive in Sky. So, see you later for now. Bye.
guys. So today is April 8th. Um, we are on day 12 here in Scotland. Um, we just finished up with breakfast and we are getting ready to head out. We're going to check out of our hotel, but we are going to remain here in Fort William for a few hours. Um, do a little bit of exploring before we have to head to Malag to catch the ferry to get to Isle of Skye. Um, there's a very large bridge um, that uh, mm -hmm. that we would have to take if we decided to drive. Um, and I would rather only have to take that once, especially with my fear of heights, especially my fear of heights over water. Um, <laughs> So I'd prefer to only have to take that once. So we are taking the ferry um, this morning, or sorry, later this afternoon to get to Isle of Skye. Um, cuts off roughly, I would say about an hour, hour and a half maybe of our entire driving journey to get there. Um, so yeah, we are, we're getting ready to head out. Um, slept pretty well last night. Um, well, he did at least. Um, and then this morning, um, we woke up. He's not sore really at all. I, on the other hand, am a little sore. Not as sore as I was expecting to be after a full day of hiking up a mountain. <laughs> but um, I was a little sore. Um, but once I got moving, I, I'm feeling okay. Um, just a little tired. Um, cold. <laughs> chilly day. It's, yeah, it's, it's a chilly day today. But, um, so yeah, that's our plans for today. Um, we are heading to the museum and there is a cute little yeah. church and, and graveyard that we're going to check out as well. St. Andrew's Church. Yeah. Um, and then hopefully we're going to pick up some stuff from the Tesco up the road as well. Uh, we need a little bit of supplies to kind of get us through. So um, that's pretty much it uh, for Fort William. Um, obviously, we'll post the pictures from today. And then in the next video will be all of the stuff from Sky. So we will talk to you later. Bye.